Bakugan's come a long way, and they've made some interesting decisions, and I think that those decisions are most notified and apparent <laughs> by what's standing in front of you. Bakugan's mascot, most loved character, Dragonoid. Uh, Drago for short, Dan Kuso, or Dan Kuzo's, uh, Guardian Bakugan. As you can see here, I have each generation's Drago. I have the legacy versions right here, B1. I have the reboots version right here. And then I have the new generation three Drago right here. Um, they're all different. Let's point that out right now and be very clear. They're all different. Um, I wanted to compare them. Uh, just to show you guys, I don't know, I don't know, just to sh just to compare them and, and show everyone, like, what the differences are, because there's a lot. Um, so let's look at what they kept right. Let's just jump into this. What did they keep? So each Bakugan's got feet, each Bakugan's got wings. You got Drago's wings here, Drago's wings here, and Drago's wings here. Um, they have feet, symbols, uh, so Drago's got his Pyrus symbol there. This Drago's got nothing. There's no symbol on Drago here. Okay, interesting. It's on the bottom, nope, nowhere, all right. And this Drago's got a Misfit Clan symbol right there. Off to an interesting start. Uh, they each have a horn, one horn there, one horn here. And then this one's got a teeny tiny horn right there, but nothing great, nothing great. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one's got G power, 480 G's. This one has 200 B power right there. And this Bakugan doesn't even have a number on him. Interesting choice, right? Interesting choice. Uh, obviously, my favorite's going to be this one. No, no contest. This one's okay. This one... Looks nothing like these two. Not even the same colors, nothing. They're they're all kind of close. There we go. Wow, look at the size difference on that. Hold up. Look at that. That's crazy. So, the reboot and Gen 3 are the same. But then Legacy is so much smaller. I'm assuming if you got a B2 out there, it'd be the same. But, man, that is crazy. Was not expecting that. Let's see. They So they kept, like, the same fire idea. The only difference is, like, the extra colors. So, like, orange versus, like, a copper versus... I don't even know what color that is. I have no idea what color that is. Uh, plus more yellow. So, not... Not so bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back here of all of them. So you can kind of see where things definitely started to take a change here. With the, these got more complicated in the back versus Drago's pretty simple there. Uh, again, the symbols. So the symbol they actually kept on the same wing. That's kind of cool. So for Legacy, the wings got the pirate symbol there. And for the reboot, or the Gen 3, the clan symbol's there. But this Drago in the reboot has nothing. Okay. Very cool. And then another thing that I've brought to light is like what you got in the packaging. So I don't really have the Legacies packaging all that straight. But um, Fire Pit, you know, some kind of random card you got and some ability cards, which I thought was cool. Versus like cores you got from the reboot. So completely different, completely changed so far. And then they actually came with their own little character card as well that you would use to kind of read and figure out what the heck you were supposed to do in the game with, right? So these have like rulings for when you land on like say one of these cores or whatever, right? Versus now you've got these Gen 3, you've got these cards you land on with only <laughs> with only half of an ability card, right? So oh, that's crazy. And even like this just wow, that is unique to say the least just the differences between drago and i'll even like i'll hold these here hang on look at all them dragos so different like they've easily gotten more mechanical and more fish-like does that make sense more fish-like 
I think so. That is crazy. The Reboot Drago kept the core too. We're actually gonna open them really quick. So we're gonna actually, we'll use the Gen 3 card just cause it looks cool. So let's roll Gen 1 first. I think my Gen 1 gets a little stuck, but we'll see. Ready, go. All right, yeah, here he goes. So this is what he looks like when he stands. So got some manual parts we'll get to. Gen 2. All right, okay, okay, nice. No mechanical parts, and he's got the core there, which is pretty cool. Like an homage to Neo and the rest of the Dragonoids after that. Now Gen 3. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, Gen 3 is clearly taller than all of them. Like, height difference, insane. Uh, he's got some manual parts, which are the feet here, which look... They look, that's for sure. And then Drago's got his feet here. Let's see. Yeah. That is crazy, man. Just the difference between all three is wild. Like, I cannot get over that. They they all look so different. Like, this is... This looks like a dragon. If if you showed up, and I had no, I had never seen Bakugan before, or heard of Bakugan, and said, what is this? I would say it's a dragon, right? I would definitely say that. This one, you rolled up, I would also say, yeah, that looks like a dragon or some kind of beast, right? This one, I couldn't tell you. I have no idea what this is. This doesn't look like a dragon at all to me. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what Gen 3 is doing with the designs. It does fold up nice though. And then, so these guys chill like they do, but then this one has the ability to just split itself in half, right? So you can literally just disconnect him and swap him with other parts, which is... <laughs> Very different. Not saying it's a bad thing. I actually kind of like it, but it's just different compared to the rest of the generation. It's just seeing how they evolved is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, what what do you think? Which 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 is your Dragonoid? You know, I mean, you've got all these different types to choose from now. All these diff different generations, and I, don't know, I thought it'd be a good conversation start. It's like, which Drago is your Drago? Uh, which one did you grow up with? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you like the most? Which one do you hate the most? Which one do you think had the most character development or at least character development so far? Uh, which one's got the best color scheme? Like there's so many different questions to ask in something like this. Uh, just like based on like the different magnets they use, the different deployment systems, all that stuff, the different types of gimmicks they come with. You know, do you prefer being able to flip open manual parts or do you like this one where nothing pops open? You don't have to like manually do anything at all. It just pops open. Uh, do you like the disconnecting por portions of this? Like being able to bring it apart? There's so many different options. Um, and I think that's like kind of what I want to do with this video is to just showcase like Bakugan's changing. Bakugan's evolved. And like they, we have now three generations worth of Drago to compare that to. To really get a good idea as to what we like and what we want from the franchise so you know with Bakugan going this way there's argument for a lot of people liking how Bakugan looked then or even this so to see it evolve you know you can kind of look at like okay what did this guy do right what did this guy do wrong or what did this guy improve upon what did this one improve upon and do right or what did this one improve upon or do wrong something like that you know what I'm saying so I think there's a lot of room for conversation here on that and I'd love to get everyone's thoughts on that. So, I don't know. Let's start a discussion in the comments. What do you guys think? And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.